Hey guys, Modslink here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Linux running on your PlayStation 4 running firmware 1.76. Yes, this is only usable on firmware 1.76. Um, it may change later on in the future, but don't expect anything uh, too quickly for newer firmwares. Again, this will only work for 1.76. If you need to get one of these consoles, look in the description below and I will have a link there to these consoles. This is a limited edition Destiny uh, white PS4. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is obviously the console. Uh, you're going to need your controller, as always, to control the console. You're going to need a USB flash drive, and you're going to need a USB keyboard such as this one here. So in order to get started we need to go over to the computer first and download the files onto the USB flash drive. Alright so over on your computer go to this URL which will be posted down in the video's description and download this file. And this was recently released by KR105 or Krios if you want to be super leaked about it. But anyways, download this file. Download it over to your desktop. And then go ahead and plug in your flash drive. Once your flash drive comes up, you need to make sure that it's formatted as FAT32. So right click on it, format it, and make sure this is set as FAT32, and rename it to whatever you want. Alright, so once that's formatted, Go ahead and set that to the side and then get this file that you downloaded right here. Open that up. It's a zip file so you'll need a 7-zip, WinRAR or something similar. And Get these two files and just drag them to the root of the USB flash drive. Just two very small files. This is the um, this is the exploit I believe and this is the Linux image. Once you have that there, go ahead and right click on it, eject it, and we'll go back to the PS4. Alright, now back here with the PS4, go ahead and turn on the PS4. Alright, so once you're here, go ahead and log into your profile. And at this point, you need to go and watch my other video, which will be down in the video's description as well, on how to get your PS4 set up so that you can use the user guide and in here launch this PS4 start quick launch instead of the um, instead of the PS4's manual. So once again there will be I'll post the video on this video so there will be an annotation there click on that and watch that video or go in the description and watch that video on how to get your PS4 set up to get to this uh, page here or to that IP address once you've done that go ahead and get your flash drive here and plug it into one of the USB ports and at this point you will want to plug in your keyboard as well once you have both of those plugged in go into the PS4 WebKit Playground and go over here and load it
Now if you did everything correctly you'll notice your USB start to flash and you should see this familiar Linux boot up screen. And now as you can see here, here's the keyboard and if I type here you can see it on the Linux screen. So if you know your Linux command line or your Linux terminal commands then you should be able to uh, see the root and all the file system and everything here so if you do an S L S L then there you can see the root so you could go and explore uh, the root directory so here as you can see uh, you can view the files and this is Linux so if you're kind of familiar with Android uh, it's it's very very similar if you're not familiar with Android or Linux Ubuntu anything like that this is probably the time where you need to go and set up a virtual machine and get familiar with Linux if you wanna mess around with the file system on the PS4 because if you do delete any of these files or you modify them in any way you can break your console so be aware of that and just don't do anything that you're not absolutely sure about here if we run top we can see what's running on the PS4 and so forth but anyways I'm not going to waste your time here you guys can do this on your own now all the files are out there for your public consumption so go ahead and get yourself one of these PS4's run Linux on it and start messing with it but yeah that's it for this video if you guys found this video helpful or informative please remember to like comment favorite or share the video consider subscribing as well for future tutorials such as this one and uh, for tutorials on any other console. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.